Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3, where we are uh, in the heart of the absolute uh, power. Uh, tower of power, yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, where we've got some orders to find and retrieve a relic sought by a uh, apparently high ranking guy named Baltazar in this organization. Uh, we will be uh, investigating and doing that. First, let's have some chats, for example, with this lady here. It is not your time yet, blessed one. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation. Save for those he chooses to ascend. This must be the place. We have to get inside. Look, why do I have to seduce this woman? And how do the chosen ascend? I'm sure you have done a great many things to get this far, true soul. But above. You will stand in her very presence. Such an honor requires more. Her words are diplomatic, but her face betrays her true feelings. Utter contempt for you and all your kind. Oh, okay. Disciples Rel has given you a chance to earn that honor. What is with all the skeletons here? Does the absolute dabble in necromancy now? I've not seen that before. Her design does not end at the grave, blessed one. You will serve, whether you ascend or fall. And I find use for even the fallen. I hope that is some comfort to you. Okay. And she just ends the conversation there. We're not done I yet. I have my duties, true soul. But I'm we were sure not done talking well yet. Has given you yours. She's mean. I look like her. Forward. Okay, let us go. We need to go to Baltazar's quarters. I'm guessing. These are they. Stuff. Okay, that's one of those sneaky orbs. And apparently not allowed to touch too much here. Invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. The map for Baldur's Gate is breaking the upper city, lower city, and outer city as far as the Rome's crossing, as well as the Grey Harbor and the near courses of the Chonta. Chonta. Arrows show the intended progress of the armies of the Absolute, with weak points in the city's defenses marked with X. Not the most advanced uh, combat design thing, but oh well. Oh, hello. Where does this go to then? Apparently wash thing magic. Hello? Seen the view out west from the terrace? All those beasts camped under one banner. That's the absolute's power. The general's power. Okay. Do we see that from here? I'm sick as shit of looking at your mug. Okay, nothing too of interest to see. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Chest. Gold, nice. Good thing we checked that. in here so wow this is fucking gross okay let's close the door so we can investigate without too much interference what do we have in this mess of a place of interest to read, apparently. Uh, 
Oh. Moonrise Towers. Many druids and harpers died to take this place once. Only for Ketherick Thorn to rule it once again. Hmm. Okay, well, not too much uh, commentary there from Halsim, but still. Probably good to be out of the bear form for at least a moment. Alright, let's see what we find here. Oh, engraved give Yankee disc. This gift slate looks like the other. Another story about the gift Yankee prints? Hmm. We should then show that to Lazel again. A reminder, acolytes are permitted to entry to my chambers for the sole purpose of collecting moon lantern. My library is not to be tampered with. While the absolute appreciate your eagerness to learn, my bookshelves do not. Any requests to borrow from, uh, from them must be given to me in advance and are most likely to be refused. Should you desire information on poisons, do not think to read any tome on the subject here. They are inclined to grant more knowledge than the written word could provide. Remember, the absolute's purpose is better served by, be by a beating heart in a poisoned mind. Though, if you choose death, I will ensure you will serve her still. That is a very nice text laid in the threat. Balthazar's personal notes. Note. Install drain beneath the library's conventional medicine shelf. A wasteful, uh, it's wasteful to let the drop seep through the flagstones and it will just, uh, it will just rust the spikes uh, besides. A line slashes above through the above with the same hand and ink. Disregard the smell gives me sweet dreams. That uh, is very gross. There is a moon lantern, okay. Fluorite's purple shard. I think that's just a crafting reagent. Sensor. It's a heavy chest. Alright, well, locked. Hello. I'll do a challenge. Alright, let's make this easy. There we go. I've got a long road ahead. A cloak! Terrification cloak. When you poison a foe, you heal yourself. That really doesn't come up too often. Goblins. Maglubiot's Gambit. Goblin troops, though crude and a bit dim, are valuable because they are adaptable and can be fitted into a number of different military roles, excelling as archery skirmishers and war cavalry scouts. It, if rigorously drilled, some can function as disciplined phalanxes armed with half bikes, and even ones who can be trained to march in step can serve as prime catapults fodder. I think goblins are a little bit too light to make good cannonballs, but whatever. The key to recruiting tribes of goblins is their profound respect for their priests. Who leads the tribe members in worship of all conquer of the all conquering Maglubiet? Maglubiet. Therefore, therefore, let the high priest of the seven tribes of the southwestern Sword Coast be invited to the Grand Council, a feast where they will be well fed, well flattered, and well lubricated with jugs of jugs of plonk laced with mild paralytic. The priest will awaken with new guests in their crania and be to be led into docile devotion to the new greater god than Maglubiot, the Absolute. And trust me, where the priests go, their warriors will follow. Advisor Balthazar. Okay. Balthazar seems to be a br the brains behind a lot of uh, the operations going on that we've Never encountered so far. Path. By with my little eye. Yeah. Nothing of note, really. Okay. No dragons. That might be worth a look. Aha. Uh -huh. okay. We 
will check that out later. For now, let's explore further. Oh, there's some alchemy ingredients, always nice. Requests from the next caravan. Any but works by Morland Caden you must catch up on current events. No follow. Better than better a century of ignorance. Hinvelm holds ink like no other. Could half of some from an acolyte. New copy of Swift and Sudden Death for the library. Current volume is badly scorched. Okay. I think that actually might tell us a little bit. Which bo books we should not be uh, actually pulling, because there's the whole thing that they're scorched probably suggests like traps. Let's actually see. Uh, Swift and Sudden Death. Was it one of the books? I didn't see it. Okay. Alchemy Reagents. Okay, easy enough. Chart prayer book. My dark goddess, when I lost my daughter, I learned of my purpose. My dark goddess, when I lost my purpose, I gathered the flock. My dark goddess, when that flock was full, I punished the wicked. My dark goddess, when the wicked struggled, I struck them down. My dark goddess, I am yours. Hmm. Reference to the absolute or possibly to shark, as we heard that Catholic Sorn was a shark in the past. <coughs> Can't jump over there, but what would that reach me? Oh, they have ghouls about. That's fun. I can actually jump over there, so let's have a look-see. Oh, the roots are actually not reachable from here. Did that bear just jump? I guess so. Come on, everyone. That includes you, Halsam. Ah, there we The Oak Father's Please. work is never done. Make me need visitors. Oh, you can actually just jump straight up there. Let's do that. Donk. Very well. Is the bear coming? There. Just use the uh, ladder. Magic climbing bear, lovely. All right, what now? These boots have seen everything. We're in the belly of the beast now. Try not to do anything too heroic. Well, that'll be a hard thing, but I'll try. So, um, you, did, you had a friend in the furnace. You never said so. You saw the extent of Flo's friendship. She'll lend you a hand, long as she can crush your spirit while she's at it. I knew never to let my guard down around her. But she always made me laugh, even when I least wanted to. If she'd been Tickle completely devil, gotcha. different from who she was... We might have been real friends. She gave you a note. What did it actually say? Nothing worth reading. Cambian manipulation at its most obvious.
Well, it was a pity. Uh, she meant something to you in a small way, at least. Yes, she did. Much as it makes me want to puke to admit it. Ugh, devils, you know. Fucking devils. They really screw with you, don't they? Yep. But what we actually want Keep to do it. is... Thanks. We'll not have... Oh, Halsum, Halsum is just having fun jumping around. He's learned a new trick, I guess. 30, so this is a very difficult one. We need some help in this one. So yeah, guidance. Let's see what you can do. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? Well, it nearly worked. We still have plenty of thief souls, so let's just keep on trying. See, a natural 20, that works. Good job there. And these things have Starion. Never liked stairs. Well, okay, that's a good reason to have a. Why does a star why does Halsen not like stairs? Stand soldier. These are the general's private quarters. Oh, we actually understand that this creature. Something in your scent is. Familiar. Persuasion or intimidation? We'll do persuasion. I'm just exploring the tower. I mean no harm. Apparently it's quite easy. You stumble into trouble like a stray pup. My own litter were the same. But they are long dead now. Well, so Mind are you, but looks you a bit. Stray, lest I send you to join them. Okay, so the dog will let me wander about here. Very good. That was a very reasonable undead dog. Uh, what do we have to find here? A missive from. Gortag. Don't know who that is. General, given what we know about the research of the gift about the gift artifact, I can't emphasize enough how critical it is that it is, to, to, is recovered. The power that the artifact contains can boost our own efforts to unforeseen levels. But if it fails, uh, falls into the hands of the enemies of wit, enemies of wit and persistence, it could bring down our plans and schemes body of our hand-picked captain for the artifact raid wasn't found in the wreckage of the Nautiloid. I'm not at all easy, easy in my mind about that fact. Find the artifact, employ rigorous means, do not fail. Lord Gortash. Okay, and with more invasion plans. Yeah, we've already seen those. Invasion plan for the Salt Coast. Oh, so they want to... Push this a bit further, don't they? Map of Altril, centering on the city of Altril, showing the nearby towns of Triels, Quernobel, and Beardusk. A series of concentric lines around the city, with all avenues of escape blocked off. Plans for a siege. A map of the Salt Coast, with the sea of moving ice just, uh, just uh, ice down to just the north of Arm. Including several of the near archipelagos in the Seed of Swords. A large red arrow scratched out from the east and then uh, branches into smaller arrows fanning across the land. To signify the absolute plan of conquest. And they're very ambitious. This ancient map depicts the area surrounding Moonrise Towers in detail. Depicting profusely the local fauna, deer, rabbits and black bears and flora. A special emphasis is placed on the area of prolific foraging. And a potion. And an unsent letter. Balthazar. I thank you for returning what was mine. I have no doubt all, all will be well, well, well once the war is won. After that, I believe our business will be concluded. A different life, a better life awaits. General Catholic Thorne.
was that? A loose blank with elder brains. Past domination. Confidential dedicated to scribe Jackers by General Catholic. Young Gorse has his plan to enslave the illithid Elder Brain and make it our marionette under the control of the Crown of Carses has proceeded almost without flaw, bearing a slight delay while our ballast allies sorted out their leadership conflict. A weak point must surely be the sharing of the, ne of the nether stones. It was necessary to secure my engagement uh, with the, and that of the murder cult, but eventually it's certain to fracture our fragile alliance. Clearly, all three nether stones must be controlled by a single leader, me, by preference, but not until after all the, st the stakeholders have made their essential contributions. Gortes fears that, energized by the dark energies of the crown, the brain we now call the Absolute. Okay, so the Absolute is an illithid elder brain. That explains uh, some things, specifically the tadpoles and all that. Uh, that we now call the, El the Absolute will eventually metamorphose into something new and more difficult to control. If he's right. The need to invest the power in these nether, nether stones in a single wielder is urgent, even more so than that of uh, is in that and for Gortes, at least, must be thinking the same way. Well, that is an interesting reveal on uh, this whole scheme. And that just seems to be like foodstuffs. Uh, let's <laughs> Easy. Now we just let the star in here handle the thief Let's get picking. Going. Another cloak. Cloak of elemental absorption. Absorbs elemental damage once per short rest. Take half damage from the next elemental attack uh, targeting you and deal 1d6 of that element's type on the next attack. That's pretty cool. Uh, we should put that on someone. And maybe the poisonous cloak as well. Letter to Catholic. We haven't read that. My darling husband, I know my time is drawing near. I don't ever w want to leave you. I don't want to leave our little girl, but I am not writing to lament our lot. It's ours and no, no others. Though the ju city of judgments is dark, I know Our Lady's light will find me even there. I will see her shining spires and walk through the silver gardens we have both dreamed of. I go to my reward and leave uh, quite a task to you yet, my heart. Saloon's light shines brighter than our little one, but she will need a guide to keep her on the path. I have no doubt that she will keep you on yours. It's the same path, Our Lady's path, and one day I will know it will bring you both back to me. Only not too soon, I hope. I won't say goodbye, there's no loss, only tempor temporary separ separation. How I love you, forever, Melodia. So that must be... Sounds like she loved him very much. Yeah, that. Or oh, Doggo Sniff. Doggo sat. Alright, so yeah, we keep our nice cloak of protection. Damn, it's good to be alive. Uh, yeah, let's keep that. We'll actually Still save the here. cloak for for Lazelle, I Don't think. Ahead. She can probably make good use of that. Okay, we have still a few more books to read and modes to read that will clear much of this. Most of the text is scoured away by time, but what remains appears to be some form of ritual incarnation. Your white ribs, the pillars, your bleached skull, the dome. Take the apostle's final form, cathedral watched rot of blessed bone. I failed the uh, critical failed religion check. Okay, let maybe someone else do this. Whatever shall it be? Actually, no one in this group is going to be handling Goodwill Religion Roll, so I guess that will remain a mystery. So this is the abode of our dear Absolute. It's about as cheerful as expected. 
Okay, thank you for that feedback, Starion. So what is ethics of war? My colleagues have proposed fair rules of engagement in times of war and forgiveness upon victory. Are we to spare our enemies then, once they have uh, fallen to our might? Are we to put all our hatred behind us and then su when surrender is offered? Indeed not. For what shall we do once our opponent gathers new armies and masses uh, them once again along our borders? We shall wait through another war and count the lives snuffed out by our own magnanimity. Once an enemy kingdom, kingdom is conquered, it must be raised to the ground. Only then can we be free of it, its spectre. Well, that is uh, a very uh, brutal way for warfare, but it's not entirely incorrect, I guess. Okay, Starion. Have another lock to pick. The dog won't mind. Doc probably doesn't understand. Need to find a way forward. That is not what it seems. I see you, shapeshifter. Okay, well then. Let's bash the shapeshifter's <sighs> brains in. Back when you were already damaged it a bit. I uh, don't need to do anything fancy here. See, there we go. Still breathing, despite everything. Spine Shudder Amulet. One where it deals damage with a ranged spell attack. Reverberation 2. That may be something for Gale. Or, uh... Will. We should probably see about getting Will when we go explore the lower levels. Uh, let's read. My darling daughter, when you were a little girl, I would often watch you play with your dolls and your cousins and picture, my, picture myself an enormous opaque... and picture myself an enormous opaque a silvery shield surrounding you, protecting you. I knew somehow, deep within myself, that no harm could ever befall you. Because I would not let it. Though the healers say I may pass into the city of judgment soon. Uh, soon, no this, darling daughter. I am always around you. I am always with you, and the Moon Maiden will never allow you to bear the burden you cannot carry. I love you forever, and I love uh, a love that there has no death, Mama. Oh, that's uh, the loving note of the mother so everything seemed quite happy while the mother was still alive and then uh, after that I guess everything went to shit Saloon's devotees this diary records the life of John Medlerwin he has suffered from lycanthropy becoming werebear in the advent of the full moon cured of his condition by a priest of Saloon John Medlerwin exchanged his claws for a great sword and a cause he would keep his priestess Lorna Safe from all the troubles of the highways and byways. Further, he would bear witness to her many miracles, for Alona was a saint of the goddess, gifted even more than he could have uh, imagined. They were ne they never fell in love, though their friendship was quite something. Well, isn't that a nice story? Want some crocus? We just want that for stuff. Moving in. Plague. Melodia Thorn, loving mother, beloved wife. Her light will never be forgotten. Yeah, so that was the mother. Uh, yeah. Some rope, that's just a nice outfit, so we will take that. Night uh, Amulet and the Open Heresy. Let's read that one. 
If you recognize Shah as a goddess of uh, creation or Salune as a goddess of destruction, yet both are true. Born in the primordial ebb and flow of time, they forged Abiatoral together, and Shantia, mother of life, sprung into existence. Light and dark hang in perfect balance, embraced Shah, enlightened by Salune. Yet their creation was cold and distant, and Shantia prayed for warmth. A single request divided the sisters, driving them into conflict. But it was Salune that forced uh, the true flame into Abiatorial, sparking the sun. How could Shah not be harmed by such a betrayal, forced to, forced to war against both the light of the sun and the light of the moon? As the goddess tore each other asunder, they formed a new god. They formed new gods and new conflicts, all for the sake of a little warmth. The lesson of this. To put selfish comfort over the fate and f of the of the of existence is folly. For those who understand, the lady lost is always listening. Curious, but yeah, that is somewhat in line with the creation myth of uh, the Forgotten Realms. Though I never heard it interpreted as uh, as going like, "Oh, Saloon was just being a bitch, selfish bitch." Okay, some gold and an absolutist outfit. Let's take that one as well if we want a good disguise. And then I feel it's back to investigating more of uh, Balthazar's library to find out exactly what is going on here. Balthazar's apprentice is dead over there. Hearts? I think we need that for something. Yeah, there's hearts over there as well. Yeah, there's hearts all around this place, so... Okay, so we know Poison's Venoms will uh, basically uh, yeah, do bad things according to Balthazar's personal notes. So that is definitely the bad one if we look at the personal notes. Uh -huh. The drain between conventional medicine shelf. Yeah, so the conventional medicine shelf uh, leads to bloodshed, so that is bad. It also will tell me that galvanic interrogation is probably bad. And we know that the poison is, uh, it's said that the poison mine is dangerous. So I think it's just musty tomes then. Yeah, that seems to work safely. Recipes of drow poison. Well, always one more recipe, so. Don't know what was just being said, but whatever. Roll books. Swift and sudden death. Potion of healing recipe. Those are all bad. Oh, and these have cool scrolls in them. Nice. Alright, so ancient altar was activated. And I think with all the hearts laying around, it's pretty obvious what we have to do here. Here, take a heart. So what do we find in here? Research notes. I've redirected some material from beneath the tower. I plan to simply raise what forces we need inside the mausoleum itself, but the general prefers that no more of his family crypts get be disturbed. Even so, I may have no choice. The temple will not surrender the night song easily, and the general's invulnerability depends on it. I'm sure he will forgive my little transgression if he frees it, if it frees his army to move from Baldur's Gate at last. This night song sounds like the source of Ketherick's immortality. Might be possible to turn it against him. 
or destroy it. Sounds like we're that sort of after Assuming that. we can find it, anything that powerful will be protected. Keep your distance, Darth. Well, that seems to be indicated by With the notes. Pleasure. Yes, Astarian. Thankfully, to a bonuses, that was enough. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. A fancy hat. Uh, for cold stuff. Okay. Don't think we need that. I need that. The necromancer was experimenting on the tadpoles. But they were already imbued with Nethery's magic. So where did that magic come from? Well, we have, uh, have an interest in the Crown of Castles, which was like an ancient Nethery's mage, so... Yeah, that, that book kind of revealed a lot of the... Uh, a lot of their little scheme. Dead pixies. Do we need to pick up dead pixies or broken moon lanterns? I do not think so. A goblet filled with the mutilated corpses of illithid parasites. Whatever ungodly experiments were performed on them likely killed them. Hmm. Well, I am sort of curious about those experiments. I think there's much more we can discover here. At least we have a direction now. So, uh, yes, I think we can uh, go ahead and go and seek out that night song thing, which apparently is in uh, a necromancer script or in the Catholic family crypt. So, probably in the graveyard. Um, next time, I think we first explore more of this tower, though. So, join me next time when we go to the floors below. Till that one, bye bye.